What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today we're going to be going over the best tweaks of the week. Now I know last week some of you guys weren't too thrilled of how long the video was, so what I'm going to be doing with this video is trying to get through these tweaks as quickly as possible while still hitting all the highlights of the tweak and give you a really good idea of what they do, just in case you guys want to check these out for yourself. So let's go ahead and get started, and if you guys do enjoy this type of style and this pace of the video, then definitely let me know in the comments below. All right, so the first tweak we have up is called acapella. And what acapella does is allow you to use gestures within your control center rather than using the actual media control. So you can see right here, if I go ahead and swipe up, you'll see that we don't have anything here other than the name of the song as well as the name of the album. So if we tap on this, then it's gonna start playing. You actually can't hear it because I have it turned down all the way. But if we swipe up just a little bit, you can see we have a volume slider. And you can either slide that knob up and down or you can actually just tap right here or tap over here to increase or decrease the volume. Also, if we wanna scrub through the song, then you can just swipe up just like that, and you can swipe on the little scrubber right there, and you can see that it's sliding through the song. You can also tap and hold, and it's going to skip through about 20 seconds right there. Now, if we wanna open up the actual application, then we can just tap and hold, and it's going to open up the app, and you can see that it's actually going to work right here within the music app as well. You have all those same options. Now, if we wanted to share this, then we would just swipe up a hard swipe, and you can see that we get the share panel right here. Now, this is also going to work on the lock screen as well, and I'll show you that right here. You'll see that we have all that area right up there above the album art for gestures. So this is a really cool tweak. I highly recommend this. If you think the media controls look a little bit cluttered on your device, then this is definitely another way to go. Next up, we have a tweet called Color Your Board 8, and this is for iOS 8 and iOS 7. Now, this is actually an application, so when you download and install this, it's not going to show up in your settings. You can see that it's going to show up right there on your springboard. So you just tap on that, and really all that this does is allow you to change the color of your keyboard. It's very simple how to use it. You can see that you can swipe across to get whatever color you'd like, and then right over here, you can see that you can change the darkness of that color as well as the transparency and of course if you want to get a little head start of what color you want or you want to tweak a color then you can just tap on this for some of the default colors right there and then you just tap save now right over here you want to make sure that this says turn off that means that it's turned on because otherwise it'll say turn on so you just want to tap on that and then just tap save and then it says you can reopen the application and see your new keyboard so we're just gonna go ahead and do that let's go ahead and close out of our messages let's go ahead and close out of our notes app right here that way we can check out what it looks like so it should be red and here's our notes app let's hit new and you can see that we have a red keyboard right there so this actually looks pretty nice it has a nice transparency effect I think this is a pretty cool uh, keyboard tweak and it gives you a ton of different keyboards or colors to choose from for your keyboard so definitely check it out here we have a tweak called Predix. And what Predix does is allow you to see the time left on your device according to your battery. So when is your phone going to die, depending on what your battery levels are at. So really all you have to do for Predix is set an activator gesture, and then you can actually change up some of the, change up some of the theming. And you can see right here, mine is a shake. So if I shake my device, I'm gonna be able to see that my battery percentage is 37%, which I can see up here, but if I didn't have that. then you can also see that it's going to power down in three hours right there so you can see exactly how this works it's just nice to know how much time you have left on your device before it dies now of course if you want to get rid of this you would just tap off the uh, little HUD right there and then we can go into the settings here and there's some uh, configurations and I'll show you that very quickly so we'll swipe down here to Predix open that up and you can see that you do have to enable this and I had to enable and disable it a couple times before it actually uh, came on so make sure you do that if it's not coming on and then you can set your activator gesture, which everybody knows how to do, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that. So right here you can show the battery percentage. If you don't wanna show the battery percentage, then you don't have to. And then right here you have your background color as well as your labels color. So we can change that up. Let's just do a red, and we'll do the labels color to be green. So you don't have to respring or anything like that. So now when we shake the device, you can see that it's red and the text down here is green. So that's basically how this works, and there's a lot of theming that you can do with this. So if you respring your device a whole lot like I do, and you're, sometimes you're listening to music, and what that does is abruptly cut off that music. Well, what this next tweak does, called Nonstop Music 8, is allow that music to start up right where it left off after you start up your device. So let's go ahead and start playing some music here. And you can hear that going in the background. It's kind of faint. I don't want to make it too loud. And then when we go down here, we can uh, tap on boot up, which is another tweak. I'm going to restart the springboard. And boot up is obviously a, a free tweak that you can get and download in Cydia. 
So if you want to get that, then you can check that out as well. But I just wanted to show you guys that I'm going to respring my device. And once the device comes back up, it's going to automatically start playing this song. So you can hear it in the background right here. So that's just a really nice tweak and it knows exactly. I've, I've done this several times, just using it throughout, you know, installing and deleting tweaks and respr respringing the springboard. And it's worked every single time. So I definitely recommend checking this out if this is an issue for you. Next up, we have a tweak called Prettier Banners. Now, what this tweak does is basically just put the avatar of that person that you have for that contact right there in the banner notification. So let's go ahead and turn off uh, Do Not Disturb. And then we're going to go into the messages and we're going to send this text. And you'll see a banner notification pop up right there. And you can see that my avatar is right there. Now, the thing that I like about this tweak is obviously that it puts the avatar up there, but what would really be nice is if it was, first of all, bigger and circular, just to kind of look a little bit better, because you can see right there that it didn't look all that great. But let's go ahead and do it again so you can get a better look at it. And you can see it's kind of just a sliver of a picture right there. And last but not least, we have a tweak called Clex 2. Now this was just updated for iOS 8. It was actually released in iOS 7, but what it does is allow you to manage your music in a really nice and cool way. So you can see right here, if I swipe over from the right or the left, then it's going to activate this tweak. And there's actually two different panels to this tweak. And sometimes it's hard to activate on the springboard just because this is a natural gesture to swipe from the right to the left on the side, and that's going to actually change the page. So let's see if we can activate it. So it activated the first time here. And you can see what's currently playing right now. And you can obviously manage your MIDI controls right here. If you want to go to the next song, then it's going to go to the next song, and it's going to show you exactly what's in this music. I actually don't know where either of these songs came from. I don't know if this is uh, radio or actually my music. This must be radio because I don't have any of these songs on my device. Uh, but you can see right here if I pause that and I go over here, but if we go ahead and swipe over on this side, you can see all of our music populate right here. Now we can actually search through just using this search feature right up here at the top. So if we wanted to search for, let's say, uh, Guts Over Fear, let's actually, actually I'm searching by artist. So we can search by Coldplay and you can see that Coldplay pops up right there. So if we wanted to look for Lord, I have Lord in here, if I could spell. Let's go back here, Lord, right there. So we have two songs, and, or actually a song and a video right there. And this is how it works. I mean, basically you go into your settings and you can set whether you want to search by songs, if you want to search by albums, or if you want to search by artists. And that's what you're actually searching for up here. So you have to kind of remember uh, what the search is. So if you try to search for a song when you have it set to artists, it's not going to work. So just keep that in mind. I wish it was just all three uh, be able to search through right there. But alas, this is, you can't do that. But right here is the configuration for Clex, and you can see that first of all, you do have to enable it. You can tap this on or toggle it on in order to show the songs in iCloud that you have, as well as the bounce effect that I was using for uh, the iOS 7 bounce. You can see it kind of bounces at that animation. You also have restrictions, so you can turn off Clex 2 in specific applications or locations on your device. And then right here, you have the table, which is going to be what you see on the right hand side right over here. So what do you want to show? You want to show songs by the same artist or the same album. So you can see right here when I swipe back over, it should say, or actually let's skip a song. You can see that it's going to show all of those songs right there. So it just had to update. And then if we go back here, uh, you can see that you can search music by artist, which is what I have right now. You also have album or song. And if you want to change the look up of this, then you can do that right here. You have a blur, you have the tint color, you have font text color, as well as an image if you want to do that and the alpha of the background view. So just to change uh, just one thing real quick, let's just change this to red so it'll match my keyboard here. And we'll swipe over and you can see what that looks like. I think it looks kind of good. All right, guys, that's all I have for this week of the best tweaks of the week. Let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks in the comments below. And let me know if you guys like this faster paced video, just so you guys can kind of get through all the tweaks and get an idea of what the tweaks do and see if you actually want to check them out. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.